the first thing I have to say about the UK in theater is that it's given me a sense of how important theater is to a society, to a community. Theater, first and foremost. Uh, in England, theater is very much a part of their culture. Uh, theater. In America, it's very much a part of our, our corporate world. Right. So there is a divide between the arts, you know, and a commodity. Um, so it's been easier for me, I think, in England to negotiate my job, my work, uh, because I'm not under the pressure of trying to become a star, right. you know, or trying to be at the top of the, you know, I can just concentrate on telling the story. Um, in England, you know, if there's a job up, we share it, you know, you know, in America, from what I have experienced, is that if there's a job up, you keep your mouth shut, <laughs> you know, because you're the one to get it. I find that's that selfish kind of uh, uh, existence in the arts, in, in, the, in the business, to be detrimental to the health of the business and to the individuals around. And I've experienced how in America, the, um, the star system has, has undermined actors' uh, ability to just be human, just to be easy. You know, you don't have to look over your shoulder. You know, things are beginning to change now a bit in England. Um, but prior, prior to the exodus of, of, of actors uh, to, to Hollywood, you know, um, it was, it was a, um, and it still is to a certain degree, a much more of a family um, orientated um, uh, situation. Um, also, I think that because it's part of the culture, when I wrote Five Guys Named Mo, they saw it as a cultural piece, you know, a piece of, of African-American history. Um, it wasn't written as a bio biographical piece, but Louis Jordan's name was very much in the foreground of that, you know, so, um, and it was embraced because of that. I did Nat King Cole. It was embraced because it was Nat King Cole. Right. In, um, uh, because of, it being, because I'm coming from a different culture, um, there is a curiosity, you know, that, um, that I'm able to feed. Also, to keep these characters alive. I don't think that, you know, in America, there's so much uh, litigation and litigious, such a litigious atmosphere, yeah. that things that need to be said and shared culturally are often squashed because of some nonsense, you know, um, but this is history, you know, um, and we should be, it should be shared. It should not be uh, um, uh, uh, managed. I'll continue to stay in, 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 uh, in Europe because basically I've spent the majority of my life here. So mm -hmm. I, I have to say that I, I feel more a citizen of the planet Earth than hmm. of any particular national uh, hmm. you know, that America needs to be re-educated to what theater is, how theater functions in a society, how theater serves a society, how theater preserves certain traditions you know, that a society would, would prefer to put aside as we, as we move forward. Um, America has got to recognize that that um, cinema, you know, is, that was that came long after theater, baby. Lastly, you know, lastly, <laughs> yeah. You know, and so uh, and and with with that came a, a, a host of uh, of ailments, hmm. you know, diseases, you know, for the artist to have to deal with, you know, so. Um, I can understand that why, why it's not a, um, 
and, and really, in, in my understanding, I'm dismayed, you know, that, that you don't have a central uh, ministry of culture, for mm -hmm. example. Yeah. We're rich, you know, you have, you have, we have uh, uh, indigenous people, we have, uh, and, and just within the indigenous community, you have a variety of tribes of yeah. people with different cultures already, let alone those who were, who were brought there either by force who, or who immigrated there. Mm -hmm. This, it's so rich, yeah. it's so rich. Yeah, this, this panoply of experience and imagine what we could be as a society uh, especially in the states, right, where we we're here, where we hear and experience the the partisan, the hyper partisanship, the hyper polarization. I, I imagine, and I'm curious, your thoughts on, it, you know, if we did prioritize theater, if we did actually listen to some of those cultural experiences, indigenous communities, uh, folks of color, allowing them to tell their own stories, how that would shift our understanding of each other. Well, I think that we would. Um... It would certainly give once once we be got, once we got beyond the uh, the ego of it, mm. right? Mm. I think that it would serve us all individually uh, in a way that we would probably be more generous or more altruistic with each other because we will have learned how to listen. We would have learned to observe before acting. Um, we would have taken time to um, to consider our reactions to things, you know, because we we would have had more examples of how to act or react in a situation, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think that above all, that when we are speaking, but with immigrants who come to America, uh, the indigenous people. Uh, the uh, the enslaved people mm. that there is a sense a, a greater sense of humanity mm. that um, because of a need to uh, to survive that um, that in the main has just been pushed pushed to the side for the sake of uh, personal gain mm -hmm. you know. Um, you know, so and I, and I think that I think that's just how the society would work. But I also feel that, you know, in a corporate kind of way, that perhaps our medicines would be different. Perhaps our food would be healthier. Perhaps our relationship with the earth would be healthier, and thereby uh, um, we would know how to manage ourselves rather than having something imposed on us like Planned Parenthood, right. you know? You would just, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, you would just know how to behave. Um, a family could remain a family, you know? Um, and traditions would, would, uh, would, would build uh, a better foundation for a community you know, and then a, 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 a town uh, or a village and then a town and then a city and then a state and then a country, you know. Um, but we would only get to that, you know, if we listen to the indigenous people who lived there 300 years before we got there, you know, or listen to the enslaved Africans who brought medicine there, you know, and, uh, and, the, and the Eastern Europeans or the Europeans who, who had come there from mm -hmm. their country, bringing their uh, uh, their knowledge, you know, um, right. you know. So this isn't a, this is a um, it's necessary for us to be more like that, you know. Mm -hmm. It really is, uh, and America has the potential greater than any country in the world mm -hmm. to do that. 